Yo guys, what is going on? Welcome back to another video of the channel. First of all, thank you guys for the incredible support recently. I appreciate it. Hopefully you guys are enjoying FIFA 23. Uh, for me, it's been an interesting year so far. I've been enjoying the grind, the gameplay. I'm still figuring out. And honestly, the market I've been slacking, but this week I have been absolutely killing it. So I've been really kind of starting to like, find my love again with trading. Um, and yeah, if you enjoyed the video today, drop a thumbs up. Guys, today we're going to be raiding every single uh, hero in this FIFA. Uh, obviously this week we got a hero pack that was only a max of 87 and throughout the year we are going to get probably some more like max overall hero pack stuff like that so there will definitely be uh, relevance for this video uh, for you guys to come back to and I've tried most heroes in this game not all uh, and you know if, if there's a category or a situation where I just feel like I, I haven't tried him or played against him I'll probably explain like I'll probably put him in good or mid just because I don't have an opinion uh, so yeah Let's get into it. So first of all, we've got Abedi Pele. Now, I'm going to put Abedi Pele into the... I'm going to put him into the good category, all right? So Abedi Pele is like a 500,000 coin hero, I believe, or 400,000 coin. He is four-star, four-star, and he's honestly, for me, he's good. Uh, I would probably have him in so good if he wasn't extremely expensive. Now, he's like so much, 600K, and for that price, there are some players that I would prefer in this game, like Neymar, uh, and I just feel like Abedi Pele, yes, he's good, but he's not super elite. And I want to be really, really, really like strong with my decisions here today. I don't want to have a bunch of players on that top tier. I want to keep it, you know, super controlled. So for me, he's got the average body type. He lacks a little bit of that left stick dribbling, especially this year. You're going to struggle with that. Um, so nothing super ever unique with him too in game. I used him last year. Haven't really played with him too much this year. Used him in one draft. He was solid. Um, so good, right? Good is not bad. It's good. Uh, Campos. I don't think Campos is bad. Um, I'm going to put him in mid because he's so affordable. The problem is, when, and a lot of people will disagree with me, is that because of this Trivella meta, um, he's actually just like not a great keeper. So we might have to put him in bad for that reason. What I will say and why I initially had him in mid is because I had him in a foot draft and I felt like he was actually, because of his pace, because he's so fast, that he was potentially worthy of a spot in mid because I feel like if you're moving your keeper, he's really solid. Um, we've got Carvalho up next. I'm going to put him in mid. Um, to be honest with you though, not a horrible card. Um, decent with the pace. I have played against him. I didn't think he was out of this world. Um, I felt that he was mid, you know, I didn't think he was that crazy. Joe Cole. This is an interesting one. Do we want to put Joe Cole in good or so good. This is a tough one with Joe Cole. Um, because Joe Cole at the start of FIFA is so good. But then he's kind of like good. He's not as good as the year goes on. Um, I'm probably going to put him in good with Abedi Pele. I feel like it's a little unfair with Abedi Pele in good to put Joe Cole above him. But Joe Cole is very good. Great left stick dribbling. Um, great shooting. For me, always one of the best players that you guys can get in the first two months of FIFA. I feel like he's just great. His links are there. Left stick dribbling. Passing is great. And four-star, four-star. Cordoba is going into so good. Cordoba is so good. Now, the reason why he's not in perfect, in FIFA 22, I would have put him in perfect because he was perfect. He was one of the best center backs. He's less talked about this year because of the lengthy meta. Now, not the, not the fact that he's not lengthy necessarily. The problem with Cordoba is that there's a lot of really strong and fast strikers in this game and so the issue really with that is that Cordoba is a lot smaller in game and you know these guys like Haaland are already you know just throwing six foot two six foot one center backs <laughs> to the ground with this lengthy meta Cordoba is just a little bit exposed in that regard but other than that so good really fast really agile uh just a, a player that you want in your team uh Di Natale Oh, do I want to put this card in perfect? He really, really is almost perfect. I'm going to put him in so good just to keep being consistent here. But he is something special. Four-star, four-star for Di Natale. Um, just a, just a, a monster card, though. And, and, you know, he's another level compared to Abedi Pele or Joe Cole. Um, he really is. He's got the most broken shooting. His attacking positioning is great. He's got that left stick dribbling like Insigne has. He's very responsive um, and just a really jammy card. And what I mean by jammy, so many people always ask me about that. It's like just when they can't get tackled, they're just continuing to run through tackles. Di Natale really is that guy. Um, I'm going to put Forlan in good. I think Forlan is worthy of that spot. He's got amazing shooting. Um, his dribbling is okay. His physical is okay. His passing is okay. And his pace is pretty good. And he's got great animation. So I think Forlan good is, is good. 
Ginola this year. Last year, I probably would have said he, Ginola was so good. Ginola is by far the best hero in this game. Um, he is perfect. Every time I play this guy in Rivals, I am losing my mind. Five star, five star. He runs through everybody. He's like, I'm calling this guy the French Haaland that has 5-5 five, five because I don't know. When you see Ginola and Mbappe on the screen, you are just in trouble. He's about 2 million coins. If you can get Ginola, just get Ginola. He is something else in FIFA, um, especially with the way this game is playing where physical strikers are a little bit more relevant. I feel like Ginola is almost perfect for that role. So Ginola, for me, really deserving to be in that perfect spot. Love the way he plays in game. Uh, Mario Gomez, I'm going to put into mid or bad. Um, I almost want to put him in bad. I don't know. I've used Mario Gomez a couple times last year. You know, a player that I loved as a, growing up as a child. Just don't like him in FIFA. Like, you know, he's also 100K. I just don't like him in this game. I've never liked him. I didn't like him when I tried him this year. Not a huge fan of him. Um, let's move on. Kohler, I'm going to put in mid. And the reason I'm going to put him there is he's lengthy and he's just really physical. I've played against him this year. He's not horrible. I wouldn't say he's bad. Um, he's not horrible. So I'd put him there. He's a cheaper option as well. Lucio is going up into perfect. Lucio is amazing in this game. Um, perfect. He's perfect. And he's a little bit better than Cordoba. He's got four less pace, but he just has more of a presence, more of a physicality, and a little bit better on the ball with the passing and the shooting. I actually scored with him in a draft, which was a funny story. All right. Mascherano. I think those stats are a little bit off. Some of the stats with some of these cards might be a little bit off. I'm not 100% with Mascherano. Surprisingly enough, though, I'm putting Mascherano in good. He is good. He's really good. And he's only 150K. It's also nice that you can play him as a center back and a CDM. But I am a huge fan of Mascherano in FIFA. I think he works really well in game. Um, I really liked his interceptions in the midfield. I thought that's where... You know, I found a peak for him. Um, I'm going to put Milito in bad. He's kind of the same for me as Joe. Uh, sorry, not Joe Gomez. Mario Gomez. Uh, just nothing crazy. Nothing crazy. I mean, even I've, I packed him this year and I just didn't really have too much of an interest to even use him. So nothing too crazy uh, for Milito. All right. Next up, Morientes. Now, last year I probably would have said mid. It's funny too, because if you look at Milito and Gomez's card compared to Morientes, you'd say, well, how is Morientes that much different? I don't know. It's just the feel thing with these cards. And Morientes has a little bit better passing, a little bit better physical than Milito and Gomez. He is actually good. Had him in a draft, was solid. Not the most responsive uh, player in game, but very, very good with, with finishing. Um, I'm going to put Marquez in mid. I think Marquez is a little bit worse than Mascherano. CDM center back and La Liga links though, and he's just very solid. A little bit slow, but... Can do the job. Um, Nakata, I would probably also put Nakata in. It's between good and mid. I would probably say mid. He's not bad, but he's nothing special. He's kind of mid in like every stat category. He's got 82, 83, 84, 85, kind of like in every stat category. So for me, I think mid actually works perfectly. Um, yeah, JJ Okocha, it's funny because... For a lot of the time, people were not excited to pack his icon card. And now that he is a Premier League hero, it's just a whole different story with him. Um, he's incredible. He's incredible. And honestly, they made his hero card this year um, very similar to like his prime icon card uh, from previous FIFAs. Kind of a hybrid of the prime and the mid. His prime has always been a 90, but it's a phenomenal card. I had him early on um, in Rivals this year, and I absolutely loved him. I thought he was an amazing, amazing player. So JJ for me isn't so good. He's about 500k. But again, that's where this price thing of Abedi Pele versus JJ comes up. You'd much rather have JJ Okocha in your team than Abedi Pele this year. The five-star skills as well. Um, Pappen was a player that was really, really good early on. Uh, really solid. He's about 130k, but I, I still prefer Gold Benzema. I know that a lot of people do like Pappen. I just wasn't wild with him in my experience. Um, but very good shooting. And if you can get him open, well, he's crazy. All right. Yaya Toure is also going into the perfect category. Um, he just is something special. I think that's his World Cup Heroes card. Same thing with Mascherano. So, so, so a couple of these cards are a little bit off. Um, Yaya Toure's card right now has 78 pace, but he's 1.4 mil. And he's perfect. He's so good. Um, he just plays like an attacking Vieira in game. Um, the one foot draft I had with him early on in the year, I just absolutely stormed through the draft. It wasn't even close. So he's in my perfect category. He's really good. Uh, Voller is in so good. Voller is amazing in this game. Um, his attack positioning between his uh, ability to head the ball into the back of the net, his auto shooting ability, uh, his yeah, his movement. He's just a 
he's a special player and he there's a reason he's 640k on the market he's a really really special player um there's levels to you know the difference between him and like mario gomez crazy player um al oweron is almost going to go in perfect he is above good because he's only 230k this card is really special um it was a card that was kind of i think went under the radar a little bit this year but man is he good you can use him out wide you can use him at striker he's fast he's got long legs um finishing and passing ability is phenomenal love this card aloe way run a lot of experience using him this year and a lot of experience playing against him as well so very effective card in fifa 23 um cahill i'm gonna put in mid just for the reason that he's not actually that expensive he's like 40k and you know what premier league links you get kind of like close to all 80 stats it's a nice option if you're interested um crouch ah, dude, where do i want to put crouch i think crouch is bad I, no disrespect Yes, you got this lengthy meta, but I don't know. Could I? Could you use Crouch in a higher division? I think it would be challenging. I think I'd have to go with Bad. And the reason I would have Cahill above is, by the way, guys, I look at Cahill as a player that you can play as like a midfielder. As a striker, he wouldn't be good. He'd have to be a midfielder. Um, Dempsey is bad. Nothing really there to you know to think about or use. Not very good in this game. Um, Captain Vila is actually good. I've played against him. He's 110k for a nice La Liga left back. I think this might actually be his. Uh, potentially his his world cup heroes card I, although i think his hero card is an 86 um but solid man solid solid card for him uh gets the job done no it's not he actually has less pace yeah you know i still think gold for lin mendy is the best la liga left back so make of that what you want uh govu i would also put in good uh govu the issue with him is that he's got a three-star weak foot and it's very noticeable um you will get in situations where you're just not Loving the fact that he's got a three-star weak foot. You will notice it with him. Um, other than that, solid, a little bit stiff, but good positioning and good links and about 300k. Park Ji Sung is going to be like really at the top of this good category. I've not been putting so good. I've not been putting these in order. He's very close to perfect. Park Ji Sung has been one of the best heroes I've used in the last two years of FIFA since the introduction of heroes. Um, He's a center mid for me. I think that's his best position. Center mid or secondary CDM or box to box. But special, special card Park Ji Sung is in this game. Really, really enjoyed using him. Great interceptions, great pace, ability to finish the ball. Well-rounded card. Premier League links. He can't go wrong. Rickon is going into bad. He is just bad. Don't use him. Smolarek, I'm going to put in good. Um, three star, three star holding him back just a little bit. And also because of the price tag, he is very good in game, very effective. Um, great shooting ability, very nice pace, uh, explosion out of the step overs, but for 350 K, I'm, I don't think I'm going to put somebody who's three, three and so good, um, at that price. You know, if he was a hundred, I think I would put him in so good. Cause he does overperform his, his, uh, his card for sure of that 86 overall rating. He's very good. Al Jaber is bad. He's not a good card donovan is also good um underrated card in this game for sure very very solid donovan and very affordable if you guys are watching this video and you want to try out a cheap hero donovan is really nice for 90k um really 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 nice left stick dribbling great positioning and great shooting uh dudek this year is i, I kind of want to say so good i've had a lot of trouble against dudek and if you factor in the price uh 50k 50k he's a very good keeper in this game premier league links and just saves a lot so for me so good i think he's very good in this game uh dirk we're putting in good 110 115k for a nice box to box um these stats are a little bit off but yeah nice box to box four star four star i think he's high high as well so hard worker in the team and we always love that uh most of all i don't think is good i'm putting him in bad you could argue mid um, but the problem with arguing him for mid is that I just think he's going to be outdated. I think he's going to be outdated like in the next month. Um, and at that point of, you know, using this card, I'd rather just go with gold De Bruyne. Um, Brawlin, I think Brawlin is probably good or mid. It's at the bottom of good. Um, interesting card, nice, nice stats, nothing too crazy, a little generic feeling, but solid overall, nothing too bad. Um, Robbie Keane, I think is also probably going to go into good a little bit more ahead of you know brawlin we're not doing this by order um premier league links 87 pace 88 dribbling 88 shooting he's good he's expensive he's like 320k so at that price of 320k i look at the so good category and you can get like 
yeah, you can get Cordoba. I'd rather get Cordoba. I know it's a, a defender, but you know, I, I there's other options. I, you could get Aloe Way around at Park Ji Sung for 400. So considering the price for him, I, I think I think good is fair. Um, it makes you kind of want to put Joe Cole in so good based on what we have, but we'll look at that at the end. Uh, Harry Cool is also good. 300K and a new hero in this game. Um, yeah, no, nothing too much about him that I that I love. Just good though. Got the job done. Um, didn't really know where to use him though. I think he was medium medium. So he was a little bit of a weird card, but good. 300K a lot. Uh, Freddy is mid. Nothing too crazy with him. Uh, Ollie is also probably going to go into bad. Sorry, Ollie. And then Marquezio is going into perfect. So this is our hero tier list. Let's see how it looks. So we've got Ginola, Lucio, Yaya Toure, and Marquezio headlining at perfect. I think those cards are amazing. Obviously, you know, Marquezio and Yaya aren't perfect because they're not 5-5. But, you know, we're recording this video in like November almost. So make of it what you want. Um, Di Natale, Cordoba, Parchi Sung, Okocha, Baller, Aloe, Weyron, Dudek in the next category. Um, yeah, yeah. I think this tier list looks pretty good. Joe Cole probably should be a little bit higher. You could argue Abedi Pele. You could argue... You could probably make an argument for Robbie Keane being 4-4 to be a little bit higher. Um, you could argue as well that maybe I've underrated or overrated a few cars in here. But I, I like this list. I mean, I, I think you have to factor in price when you're buying a lot of these guys, right? Like, Dudek has to be in so good for how much he saves and his price. Alouéron, you know, if he was in the Premier League, he could be like 700k. That's how seriously good he is in-game. Yes, Voller is very expensive at that, like, he's like a 600k price tag, but he's very worth it. You know, he gets the job done. JJ has the five-star skills. Cordoba's got the amazing uh, transition defense as a center back. Very fast. Park Ji Sung is, like, the ultimate player to use in almost every position. Uh, Di Natale, you know, amazing left stick. I think Di Natale, if he was, like, maybe even cheaper, I'd probably put him up in perfect because he is just so good. But, you know, four-star, four-star, you could argue, and a little bit undersized for the meta of this game. Um, but yeah, this is my hero tier list. Let me know what you guys think about it. Let me know, you know, if there's anything here you really disagree with. I'm sure some of you guys might have had some experiences with like, I, I could probably say maybe some of you guys had like, you guys had packed Carvalho or Nakata or Papin. I could see you guys like enjoying those cards and thinking they should be in good. Um, but I think overall, this is like a good list. I really like heroes. Like for me, heroes have taken over the the want to get an icon. I, I'd much rather get a hero now. Like if you told me, could I get... Stevie, Stevie G, you know, mid, or could I get uh, Marquezio? I'd much rather get Marquezio. So heroes are a great addition to this game. I love them. I think they're awesome. And that's why we're making a tier list for uh, these heroes today. And hopefully you guys, if you're doing the hero pack this week or you did it the other week, you guys got something good because you deserve it. You deserve to get something good. Thanks for watching the video, guys. Appreciate it. See you guys later. Have a good one, guys. Peace.